We're back. Our 250 build. We soaked it a couple times and cut that hole in it. But we're about to cut out these holes. And then we're gonna grind the doors. We don't have the flat stock or the solid to make the hinges, but I'm gonna time lapse that real quick. All right, our time lapse cut off because our phone died, but this is what we got to. Uh, the doors are hinged. Uh, the strap, the bottom left strap, we got uh, uh, like a quarter inch off. We're gonna lower it and fix it, but I mean, they're, they're nicely hinged. So we still got a little water in there to do, but to drain, not to do, <laughs> to drain, but this is the collector that we came up with. It's a little sag, sagging. I inserted a photo before this that y'all can kind of see what we're going for. Our little makeshift smokestack. But, and so I have a trailer we're gonna mount this on. And, I'll, and maybe in the time lapse today or maybe tomorrow, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna make one video of making the whole pit. You know, time lapse pretty much the, the whole thing. And uh, then the second video will be obviously seasoning it and breaking it in, I guess you could say. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep y'all updated. Today, like I said, we're gonna try to get the smokestack done on the collector, fix that strap right here, and then do the downward straps on the doors, maybe the handles and everything. The only reason I don't like doing the handles like I did my thousand gallon, I didn't do them to the very end. It's because moving this thing around, I already actually bent moving that thousand gallon to the smoke room at the store. I actually bent one of the handles. I gotta basically bend it back, or you know, if it breaks, I'll have to re weld it. But yeah, that's a little, a little update. Uh, we'll get her done. So we'll do the, like I said, we'll do that today. and. Then I'm thinking I'll do a little update after that. And uh, we will uh, do the firebox 
after we get it mounted on the trailer. So the next thing will be is getting the trailer right for this thing to set on, which I'm thinking we're gonna have to move the axle back and extend it a little bit to make it work, but we'll get her done, kind of show you all. And then I was thinking today in this video, or maybe I'll do another video, you know, after we break it in of what exactly price I have in this thing. So I got everything written down right now, what I've spent even from grinding disc to wire to the metal I actually bought from Home Depot. So like this stuff right here and the, the hinge stuff in this flat, I spent 60 bucks on. Uh, we went yesterday to the metal, the uh, metal shop here in town and spent like 80 bucks and got twice as much metal. So, I mean, there's ways that you could still save on it, but right now this is, this is where we're at though. I'll, uh, we're gonna do a time lapse and then I'll do an update after that. So thank you. It's gonna turn out because that fan's on over there. But uh, we're in Texas, so it's hot, so we don't need that fan. But earlier, uh, I had to stop and go handle some stuff and came back and actually my phone ended up dying. Actually, it was at like 10%, so I just put on the charger instead of filming. But I, uh, I bent these straps down, welded them on. I just did it right here, clamped it at the top. Obviously, the door was open clamped it at the top and just heated it up and bent it with my hand on the way down. And I did that with all of them. And uh, I still gotta, I fixed this left one so they're even now. Looks pretty good. Uh, still gotta cut these off on the straps, the extra length. And then also I totally forgot, I'm just gonna have to weld the inner right here. You know, I'll open the door and do that, but I'll show y'all like how I did over here, just for extra, extra support, you know. Oh, and I also uh, cut the damper hole. We're gonna end up uh, time lapsing this real quick, but real quick, it's probably gonna take a couple hours, but for time lapse, it'll be like 30 seconds. And then hopefully we can at least get the damper part done. And I said I was going to finish the whole video, you know, finish the whole pit and then post the video, but I don't know. I may do two parts because I got probably about 10 minutes of footage right now. So I may do this in the smokestack, post that, and then start from scratch with the firebox time lapsed. And uh, also we're gonna have to mount it on the trailer, so we'll have to get the trailer ready. So I guess we'll do two parts. So, all right, well, we'll get to it. This is how we came up with our collector idea. This is actually for a uh, stucco, and then just a cardboard box for the bin, which we know it's a little shorter. We're gonna make that up, but that's what it looks like. I inserted a picture or I may have, I don't know if it's gonna actually work this time, but that's what the collector hopefully is gonna look like. But we'll take it apart real quick. I'm just gonna trace the, these pieces out on the, the steel right over there. And then top and the bottom will be a little thicker. The uh, top and the bottom will be thicker for the smokestack. That's probably gonna be What do you think? That's like three eggs? Quarter. And then this is gonna be the this is gonna be the stuff we bend around. This is gonna be the top and the bottom. But alright. So we're gonna get the time lapse going. See y'all after.